Let's play The Beast Inside, a survival horror thriller game. Where am I? Good question. Why? Adam! Adam! Oh. Why are you stalking us? Is this about Adam's work? What do you want from us? Why are you tormenting our family? No! Adam! Oh, no. No, what have you done to Adam? Oh, God. War calls for casualties. No, Ooh. there is no war. We're just, a, we're just a regular family. Do you hear me? We just wanted to live our life, and you ruined everything. Pictures, bugs, threats. And now you've killed me. Stay away. Don't. They already know about you. They've been watching the house. They won't let you. Hush. No. What are you doing? What are you doing? I am sitting the front line. Oh, boy. The sweep of the past. President Carter had commented on the Russian threat that we could use. I have. It will be challenging, true. But it was you who kept saying you'd like to get away from the city. Feel the call of the wild. For the weekend, honey. Not for the rest of our lives. <laughs> who says it's for the rest of our lives? Really, Emma? We don't know the day or the hour. Oh, very funny. Like we don't hear enough about nuclear threats in the media. That's what I'm talking about. If I don't break the code, this country would be like a basket full of nuclear mushrooms. Adam, stop it. But then again, maybe this shack will fall down on us before Brezhnev's boys launch their first missiles. It's no shack. It's a present from your parents, and you should appreciate it. Take a look! Oh, it looks even better than the photos. Yeah, that's not a shack at well, all. Our stuff made it here before <laughs> us. And those lazy movers didn't even bother waiting for us. That's okay. We can bring it all in ourselves. Yeah, meaning I toil away while you get orders from the shower. Three hour drive and we're finally here. The place seems peaceful and quiet. Maybe it'll help me to focus on those damn telegrams to decipher. Honey, don't just stand there. Those boxes won't carry themselves in. Update. The place seems peaceful and quiet until Emma showed up. Ooh. Very pretty. Take the box into the house, eh? Uh. Let's tab to check the voice recorder, okay. Ah. Right, cool. Gotta get those boxes inside. I should put the box on a table upstairs. Uh. Oh, I have to push the door open, I see. And then grab the box. Okay. On the table upstairs. Do 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 delivery man. Um Which table? This table? I mean, this is a table. Okay. Ooh, let's take it, sure. Alright, turns out we need to bring it to this table, supposedly. The box is where it should be. There we go. Time to paint the walls. I think there's some paint in the attic. Okay, so that, that pole was actually... Cane was actually quite useful. Okay, cool. You've got to be kidding me. Fuck. Mom, the baby hears everything, even in the womb. So we will make a great agent, just like Dad. 
Honey, I can't get in the goddamn attic without a key. Check the dining room. It should be in a drawer. Uh huh. Dining room. Wonder why the key's all the way down there, but I don't know. Who knows? Dining room. So this. Ooh. It's a clock. This is a note. Mom spent her childhood here, but she never talked about it much. I'm glad she thinks this is where Emma and I should settle down. Can't imagine reading a kid in Boston these days. What does the letter say? Adam, our dearest son, this house belonged to our family for many decades. Some even called it the Stevenson's Refuge. Dad moved to Boston. Grandpa was going to sell it, but he didn't. And he left it to us in his will. And now we will live there. Good care of Emma. Dad thinks he should be the one to come up with the name for your son or daughter. I have no idea why he's insisting on that. Um, okay. <laughs> Act surprised when he mentions it to you, eh? Sure thing. Uh, <laughs> where is the key? What's this? One of the drawers. Salmon. I should read this too. Yeah, I suppose. Um, maybe it's in here. I can't find it in the dining room. Oh, sorry. I, I guess I didn't get it from the trunk. <sighs> All right then. Let's open the trunk of the car. There we go. Uh, key, there it goes. Cool. Anything else we can use in here? Not really. What to do? Attic. Key. Cool. Ooh. What the? Potions and things? This is interesting. And a crowbar, yep. Sounds like I might need that later. It's in here. Whoa. An axe, okay. That is a little creepy. Uh, here's the paint. Damn it. <laughs> hmm, what's that? <laughs> a loose plank. Someone's hidden something under the floor. Come on. What's there the we go. A treasure? Hope it's not great grandpa's porn mags. <laughs> what's this? Oh, there's like a code and things. Hmm. I have to break the cipher to open the box. Yeah, so for here in this decoding disc, if we set the J over the C, you can see that M lines up with F, which is what the parchment was telling us. And the next letter is uh, so H is where is H? H is equal to A, and P is equal to I, and A. It's equal to T and O is equal to H. And I believe that spells faith. Let's actually see if we can decipher this here. Whoops. That's the wrong button. Alright, so it's F A I T H. A. Who knew? You just needed a little faith. I have another key. A book. Hmm. What is this book? The property of Nicholas. It is September twenty seventh in the year of our Lord eighteen sixty four. Evening, almost. And that was chapter one. We'll check out chapter two of the The Beast Inside demo in the next episode. Hope you enjoyed this one. If you have, please feel free to leave a like, comment, and hey, why not even consider subscribing if you like this kind of content and you'd like to see more of it. We'll see you again soon.